got pit. Mm-hmm. But then go and do it, mother. Yeah, man. Can't stop your blessing. No matter how they sprinkle them powder, that business will prosper. That business will prosper. No matter how them work them over, that business will prosper. That business will prosper. Who got blessed? I'm saying no man can. Why get your blessing if you put that first?
Massive bigger than that. Brave to no hold him bigger than that. Race from the dead him bigger than that. Him bigger, bigger, bigger than that. So him big like the world him bigger than that. The whole universe him bigger than that. So infinite him bigger than that. Drop 
cash for me. Who only for you to cash for me? Make it praise you crazy. Who only for you to please me? God for you to me. If me dead, he will raise me. Me bust a face right now, make it hyper. Come out me bird, make this now me lighter. Pop me knee, vigilant like a sniper. Blood Satan, the old viper. One day, one of God, cover me, cover me, cover me, peace of God, cover me, through the storm, cover me.
Let him cover you right now. Cover me. Oh, Lord. Cover me. Just breathe on your people, God. Peace, Peace of God. Cover me. Just breathe on your people, Lord. Through the storm. Through the storm. Good morning, Saints of God. Good morning, Saints of God. Welcome to another Wake Up for the Word to be filled with spiritual food for life journey. Thank you so much, Reverend Ma. Mullins for that beautiful song as we go into worship this morning. Cover me, cover me. At this time, I'm going to ask in no, I'm going to invite Dr. Mullins to come and lead us to the throne of grace, asking God to cover us as we worship him and listen to his voice this morning. Dr. Mullins, will you please come at this time. Pleasant morning to all. Cover us, Lord. Cover us. Hallelujah. We are exposed to all sort of elements. Some are bad, some are good. We need your covering. This morning, once again, we are glad for this privilege of being able to meet together on this platform. We ask, dear God, that you intervene as only you can. We pray for our moderator, Sister Pearl Crooks, as she carries us through the various items, Lord, that you'll strengthen her, that you, Lord, will give her the necessary prerequisites to carry us through this program. We want to thank you, Lord, for the scripture passage that will be read, that as we listen to the reading by our sister Stone, that dear God, every word, every phrase, every item of it will be impacting to our lives. As we go through today, our navigator, Sister Miller, takes us through, enlighten us, refresh us. May every word, Lord, that she speaks be meaningful to us, help us on this life's journey. We pray that this morning will not be like yesterday, but it then more enough special revelation, special impact to us as we go through life's journey. We pray, dear God, that you will help our intercessor as she intercedes her sister coming. Lord, there are so many hurting persons. Mm -hmm. There are so many situations that are impacting us. There are so many diverse activities out there that we need to be guided, Lord, that are influencing us. We pray that as she prays, Lord, that you will go through every word, every phrase, every individual's lives and make a change as we need. We pray, dear God, for those the persons who close in prayer. Sister Jones, Lord, we commit her to you. But we commit, Lord, in total essence, this morning's coming together, that, Lord, we will be refreshed, we will be encouraged, 
that life's journey will be more meaningful to us. Help us to depend on you. Help us to look to you. Help us to walk in the light of your word. Thank you for Reverend Mark Mullin and this initiative, Lord. Oh, that you might strengthen him. Oh, that you might guide him. Oh, that you might conjure broaden his territory, Lord. I'm going to fill him each day with your Holy Spirit. Cover him, Lord. Cover us. And may we find a draw in serving you once more, yet another time, with your word. Bless again, we pray, your navigator that we are using this morning. May our hearts be filled and be blessed. For Christ's sake, we pray. Amen. 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 Thank you so much, Reverend Mullings. Good morning to you all, saints of God, in your respective places, pastors, leaders, lay ministers, remnant eagles. A pleasant good morning to you. And if you are happy to be alive and to be on this platform, Come on, please unmute your mic and give the one who has given us the privilege. Thanks, because God has been great to us. Come on, I don't hear you yet. Hallelujah. 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 Your name, Lord, Father. Hallelujah. Thank you. In the name of Jesus, we are going to have a wonderful time. God is alive, and we are alive, and God has given us the ability to praise Him. Hallelujah. We are going to praise God in spite of all the things the songwriter said. God, cover us when we're going through the storm. Cover us when we are not strong. Cover us when we are hurting. So look here. God said he will supply all our needs and all our needs. So let's forget about everything. Put down the burden and let's just begin to praise God this morning. Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. Now, before I ask Miss Tone to... Um, read the morning's lesson. I'm going to ask those of you who have prayer requests, please put them in the chat from now so that we can list them and have them ready so that we don't have anybody who is missing out this morning. Okay? Please work with me. Amen. I am a retired teacher. So please put them in the chat from now so that we can see those who need to be prayed for sickness, whatever it is, and we can know before, so that we don't want when the person start to pray, you're putting them in, okay? Amen? Amen? Amen. 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 All right, God bless you. Amen, sister, amen. At this time, I'm going to invite Dionis Stone to come, and she will be reading the lesson for us, taken from Isaiah 10. Verses 24 to 27. Sister Stone, will you do us the honor this morning? My pleasure. Good morning, everyone. Morning. Our reading morning. is taken from Isaiah 10, 24, 27. Therefore, thus says the Lord of God, of I'm sorry. Therefore, thus says the Lord God of hosts, O my people who dwell in Zion, do not be afraid of the Assyrian. He shall strike you with a rod and lift up his staff against you in the manner of Egypt. For yet a very little while, and the indignation will cease, as will my anger in their destruction. And the Lord of hosts will stir up a scourge for him, like the slaughter of Midian at the rock of Oreb. As his rod was on the sea, so will he lift it up in the manner of Egypt. 27 and last, it shall come to pass in that day that his burden will be taken away from your shoulder and his yoke from your neck and the yoke will be destroyed because of the anointed oil. Here ends a portion of God's holy word. We honored by saying, thanks, 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 be be God. God. thanks be to God. Bless the Lord, bless the Lord. Now at this time, we are going to invite the woman of God, a young lay minister in the Lord. She's going to come with the word. I am just kindly asking that we pray her up and give her the opportunity to speak to us as God has laid it on her heart. 
that God's will and purpose for all of us life, as he shall bring it forth through her, will be manifested this morning. So I'm going to ask you, please, mute your mics until you're asked to unmute them so that we can go through and we can hear what she has to say. Sister Jennifer Miller, my friend, please come at this time and tell us what God has laid on your heart this morning. Come on, let's welcome Sister Miller this morning. Give her a word. Come on. Amen. Come on. Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. Come on. Bless the Lord. Come on. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lord. Thank you. Come on. Hallelujah. Bless the Lord. Bless God. 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 Bless Hallelujah. Thank you, Sister Crooks. And I want to thank the Reverend Mark Mullins, Reverend Mark Mullins and his daddy, who has come up with another initiative in the word. And we went through the Psalms and now we are in the prophetic, my God. And I bless God. I want to greet the Holy Spirit and all the ministering servants on the platform this morning and all the people of God. I greet you well. <clears throat> Hallelujah. Praise God. No. Isaiah 10, verse 24 to verse 27. We have been looking at, from chapter 10 began at how God used the Assyrians as a punishing rod for his people. And up to yesterday, we have been told of how God has a few, the remnant, that will come back to him. Now this morning, we want to look at how God intends to punish the Assyrians after he uses them to punish his people. Glory to God. So we want to have an assurance this morning as it is set out before us in the passage. Now, these people, no doubt, had given up hope and they were destitute for a deliverance. God already told them in Isaiah chapter 5, 10 and verse 5, that he was going to use these Assyrians as a rod to punish them for he was angry with them. And we have been on the platform and we heard of the things they were doing. They were speaking to dead people. They were using mediums and all sorts of obiaism to, to, to carry them through. No, they had done wrong. And I guess no. It was good to hear a word from God because they were under heavy affliction. God does not want his people to live in constant fear. Glory to God. His word tells us he has not given us a spirit of fear but of love, of power, and of a sound mind. And now, here comes Isaiah with a word. Oh, glory to God. I remember reading in chapter 7, I think verse 2 there, when Ahaz was reigning in his time, and the prophet came to tell them that their attackers, the Syrian, 
were in their area, how the king himself, the leader of their group, and all the people trembled and they feared. The word of God says they trembled like trees in the wind, not just leaves, you know, because the little bram bram just tremble a little bit, but the entire tree, that is to tell you how terrified they were. Glory to God. Here comes Isaiah now with a word, and he introduced God as sovereign, the Lord of all the armies, mighty God. He is the maker of heaven. <coughs> he stretches out the earth, my God, and laid the foundation of the earth. This is who Isaiah was talking about, the power that God has. Oh, mighty God, this morning, the song that was being played said, God is just bigger than what people say, mighty God. Oh, so let them talk, for God is bigger than what people say. In Jamaica, when a Don speaks, he carries power over his team. But this was the king of king and the lord of lord the mighty lion of the tribe of judah he was speaking to them and he says do not fear i will deliver you i am the deliverer mighty god so then the people had this word. I want Amen. to tell us on this platform that God has various means to bring us to our senses. When we play about, when we miss about, when we put God aside, he has ways of bringing us to our senses so that we will look to him and that we will keep our focus on him. Now, these people were going through affliction and it seems like a lifetime. It seems like it would not end. Oh my God, but just a moment that time was in God's sight. Because when we see a thousand years, it, it is just like a day pass in the sight of God. So God was saying, don't be afraid of the Assyrians. Even though they oppress you like the Egyptians, mighty God, and remember, Oh, when God used the Egyptians to afflict his people. Oh, one day Moses said, the Egyptians that you see today, you will see them no more tomorrow. So God brought all of that as a reminder to them. I remember when he delivered Oh my God, his people from the Midianites, one night, one little angel just walk into their camp oh, at Oreb and he slew 185,000 people in one blow. We are talking about the God that we serve and the God who is our maker and sustainer of all things. I remember Jeremiah, Jeremiah, when God called Jeremiah, Jeremiah didn't want to, 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 to go. He wanted to make all sorts of excuse. And he said that he couldn't speak. He was a child 
talking to the God who created him. But God has a plan for us. Oh, glory to God. Glory His God. word in Jeremiah 29 and 11 says, I know the plans I have for you. Yes. There are plans to prosper you, to build you up, to give you a hope and an unexpected end. So don't be afraid of their faces because you will not have them to terrify you anymore. So with all the excuses Jeremiah had, God prepared him for his task. You see, God has perfect timing. My God, in all things, he doesn't come too early. He doesn't come too late. He's always an untimed God. And we must believe him. We must believe his words. Glory to God. I heard Habakkuk speaking when God came to him in chapter the two and God says write the vision I'm telling you write it look at it clearly because it is for a set time and it will be revealed to you though it tarries it will surely surely come to pass so when God speaks a word through his prophets and his apostles mm. in our lives, mighty God. We need to wait on his timing. Oh, glory to God. We mm. need to trust him. The word today, us today, like the Israelites then, are very impatient. We cannot wait on God. We don't want to wait. Oh, my God, when you drive on the road, they have some persons, and I hope none of our believers on this platform do not drive if you're a taxi man, but you do not drive so bad as those that I'm seeing. They can't wait. My God, young people cannot wait. And so they get themselves in all sorts of problems. Oh, glory to God. They get the, the, the get rich quick mentality and they're off to destruction. But God is saying to his people this morning, wait on me, my God. God says in verse 26, 25 to 26, only a little while, only a little while, and you will be delivered. It's not easy, people of God, going through trials, but we must hold on. My God, Isaiah 40, verse 28, going down, says no one understands his thoughts. Even young people who are young at heart now will grow faint and weary, but those who trust in the Lord, oh, glory Hallelujah. to God, shall renew their strength. Hallelujah. Oh, glory yes, to God. Hallelujah. oh, one day we are going to be like apostle eagles. Yes, yes. more than that, we are going to be like eagles. We are going to mount up with wings as eagles. My God, my God, what a word when we are waiting on God. When men of today, just like Israel, when we sin, God could just cut us off like a pope. But he's merciful. So though we are in perilous times, we must Wait on God. I heard the songwriter says, the battle is hot and the conflict is sore. Though rugged the road that we have to travel. 
hold on a little longer. Take Jesus at his word. He'll carry you through, right through to the promised land. I say to believers on this platform this morning, the best is yet to come. There is an end to affliction yes. and oppression. Glory to God. Maybe our, our Egyptian rod of punishment is sickness. Maybe it is um, different forms, oh God, of, of problems. But weeping may endure for a night. Psalms 30 verse 5. But my God, our joy will come in the morning. God is in it and he is going to win it. Oh, God told them, yes, hold on. In a little while, I will finish punishing you and I will, I will destroy them. So many times people are doing their own thing. Like the Assyrian king, he thought he had everything in control. Yes. But God has it all in his control. Man doesn't have it and man will never have it in their control. Jesus. God has it in his control. Jesus. Mighty God. So if you're going through any form of stress, I hear 2 Corinthians 4 and 8 to 9 speaking to us with that. We may be hard pressed on every side, yes. but we are not crushed. Glory to God. Glory Sometimes we are in doubt, but we are never in despair. Amen. Glory to his Glory. name. We have enemies, but never without King Jesus as our friend. Amen. We are badly hurt. Glory to God. Glory. But we are not utterly destroyed. Yes, I, Lord. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. As God was saying to his people, we oh. have an assurance in God. We yes. don't have insurance. Insurance is what you put in. You pay a sum. And it's that sum that will come back and sort you out in the case of an in eventuality. Yes. No, I'm not talking about insurance. I'm talking about assurance yes. and true confidence in God. Glory. Hallelujah. God. We have it in him. He's yes. our friend. He's our yes. maker. He's everything that we ever hope to be. Yes. He is God, the yes. songwriter says, in this assurance, I find sweetest rest. When yes. I trust in Jesus, I know I am blessed. Yes. Satan is me from my soul now that flee. When Jesus. I go tell him that Jesus loves me. So we yes. have a confidence. And the word of God tells us in Hebrews 10 and verse 35 that we should not cast it away because it's a great recompense of our reward. Oh, glory to God. It helps to build our patience as yes. we wait on God. So keep your assurance in him. I'm going down to the last verse. Because it's a short passage. And I want to say to us, sin has a price. Yes. And God punishes sin. Yes. So let us live our lives relying on God for everything. Yes. Glory to God. Glory Don't God. let Satan and the world deceive us. Yes. Israelites were just focusing on the king that they saw. And I want to borrow Apostle Smith's word this morning. 
I heard it so much on his platform, whether I go on his own platform or on Wake Up for the Word. Apostle says to us, don't let our heart believe what our eyes see. The kings of this world are not the ultimate God. Amen. Yes. Amen. 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 God is in charge. So yes. don't let Satan and the world deceive you. First Peter 3, 5 and verse 8 says, be sober, be vigilant. The lion prowls, the devil prowls about like a lion yes. waiting yes. on whom he may devour. Children of God, a lion does not need to be trained how to eat. That's true. They know when they see you, they just take you out. So the devil is cunning and let us be wise. Yes. I want to tell us that we have to pass our test when God is chastising us, we have to pass that test to move to a higher level. I put that out. If you don't pass the first test, you're gonna get the test over and over again. And it yes. will be harder each time. Yes, so let yes. us be sober and vigilant and pass our test. The word tells us, Hebrews 12 and verse 11, that no chastening is good, but God corrects his children. Glory to God. No chastening is good at first, but after all, it is, it yields fruits of righteousness. And yes, so, yes. Faith on God. Amen. God will leave his people for his enemies to destroy them. Glory to God. The assurance Glory. is and was in the scripture for the, the children of God that when the right time comes, he will free them. Now, what will he use to free them? Glory to God. Oh, my God. Verse 27. How will he free Free them. He will use his burden removing power. He yes. will use his destroying power. He will yes. give them the unction to function. Yes. That is a sudden power oh, of knowledge, increased strength that he was giving them. And they call it, the word of God calls it the anointing. The anointing. Oh, it's the anointing that will destroy the yoke. Yes, yes, yes. Heads. Oh and it's the I anointing mean. that's going Jesus. to destroy the yokes that yes. we have on today. Yes. Sometimes the burdens are so heavy. Yes. Oh, my God. <laughs> but a word of anointing, a hand of anointing is yes. going to make uh, the difference. It is a special Holy Ghost power. Yes. In, it is the empowering of the Holy Ghost. So we must have the Holy Ghost in order to be anointed. Hallelujah. So, this, uh, it removes uh, oppression of any sort. Uh, it delivers uh, from any chronic sickness. Uh, mm -hmm. Oh my God, and barrenness and failure yes. and poverty. Oh, and pregnancy and sin against God. My God, when Samuel anointed David with the oil, oh, and he went to the camp of the Philistines. Jesus. This boy was so anointed. Oh, and when he saw Goliath defying the children, the host of God, he had to step in. Yes. And with one little stone, he Jesus. slew him dead. That's the anointing yes, yes. we are talking about. Glory to God. It consumes boasting powers like this that is going to consume the Assyrian king. Though he thought 
he had it all in control. It pushes us into our breakthrough. This yes. anointing puts us on a path of purpose. Glory to God. God has his big plan. And when we yield to him, when we live for him, when we seek him, this rich empowerment is going to empower us so that we are not part of purpose. Many yeah. people today, God's purpose is on their life. Oh my God. But we Hallelujah. see and we don't activate our angels. They stay there. Oh my God. That's we do not awesome. summon them. We do not call them up. Oh, that we do not wait in prayer and fasting. And so we are weak and powerless. But yeah. Christians today, can I tell you that we need the anointing. Yes. Stir up spiritual gifts. Yes. in our lives oh my god and yes it will cast out demons yes will yes. be spiritually empowered yes. to the task to deliver others glory to god, glory oh, god. it breaks the devil's yoke my god my god my and god. this was what god told isaiah to tell the people that i'm gonna break the yoke you break up, burden by Thank you, Jesus. Jesus. Glory to God. We Jesus. become candidates for signs and wonders Hallelujah. in the kingdom of God. Yes. Hallelujah. Elijah. Hallelujah. Elijah requested that of Elijah. Yes. Elijah wanted that double portion. Yes, that indeed. That anointing. Yes. What do we say on this platform this morning? Oh, that this anointing be poured out on us today. Yes, let it so pour, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Wake up for the word. Oh, yes, let, let it pour, Lord. Lord. Become this ground will become the breathing ground, the yes. birthing ground, or oh, the equipping ground. Yes. Oh my God, for Jesus. good things, uh, young people, yes, old Lord, people hallelujah. men, women will answer God's call and will walk in spiritual authority yes. because the power of God is on our life. Glory to God. We will walk daily in victory, children of God, with this anointing. So I say to you, believers, when God says it, we have the assurance. When he says it, believe it, and it is done. The song says, and I'm closing, the song says, just the touch of the precious hands of Jesus. Oh God, oh God. Oh yes. God, to God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. yes. Glory to God. The oil of the Holy Ghost. Glory, glory, glory. To soothe our fears and follow our tears Hallelujah. in the anointing. Jesus. I need the Jesus. Moment. What do you need Jesus. this morning? God bless you as you see this rich empowerment. Glory to God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory. Praise God. Praise God. And mute your mic and begin to praise God. Hallelujah. Come on. Praise God. Hallelujah. 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 Oh, it was very difficult.
for you yes, to keep yeah. your mic muted because it's like mm -hmm. something in you wanted to shout. My Praise God, God. Hallelujah. I knew it. Hallelujah. I knew it. Yes. But then, guess what? We wanted to hear the words yes, so that yes. we can take it in, yes. meditate on it, and when we leave this platform, we can apply it, apply the word. Hallelujah. And that's why this morning I said, okay, close your, mute your mics. I didn't want to quench your spirit. Because I know that when this fruit of God is upon us, you can't quench your spirit, man. You have to shout. You have to shout. Amen. Even if I did not hear hallelujah, you, know, you hallelujah. Hear, I know you were shouting there. I know no doubt it says um, you are muted. But praise God for the word this morning. Come on. Praise God, everybody. Praise hallelujah. The Lord. It's him. Hallelujah. 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 Praise Lord. God. Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise God. Thank you so much, sister. Thank you so much, sister. Thank you for your word this morning. The anointing, it breaks the yoke. Hallelujah. Praise God. And so as we move on to our request, I am going to ask Sister Maxine Cummings. I have only had two and I've had, and I'm adding one more. But I'm asking all the prayer warriors on this platform to pray with Sister Maxine Cummings as she prayed this morning. I want to say to you, last week, Saturday, to this week, one week since my grandson, one week since my grandson was afflicted, and so many times we have been up and down with him at the hospital. And yesterday morning, when we took him to the clinic, my grandson was able to walk. He was able to talk and let me understand that I was his grandmother. He was able to stand up straight. No more was his bone twisted and um, his feet twisted. No more was his tongue heavy. He was, let me tell you, the poor of God. Hallelujah. Jesus. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. What a God. What a God. What a Lord. God. And when we went, when I went back and realized it's the same doctor that I went some days before, and we had a confrontation because they were telling me rubbish. And when I went back to the doctor, told him about the tablet and said it was giving him side effects. The doctor looked at me and said, I have to give him back that one. And he's giving me one that when he has the side effect, that one will counteract it. Uh -huh. I said, oh, what God. you said, doctor? And then at the end, the doctor looked at me. Imagine my grandson was in his right mind. And they are telling me, give him three different tablets. And I said to the doctor, what did you say, doc? And he said, Yes, you have to give him the tablet. You have to take it. And I'm giving you another prescription when those tablets, I mean, in almost over 200 and that tablets. When those tablets are finished, you continue to give him the tablets. So this is another prescription to repeat. I said, why, doctor? Because, you see, this is how he's going to live his life for the rest of the time. I said, Doc, no, no. And I was going to say, I rebuke you, and the word rebuke could not come on. I just get up and start walk around. And the doctor said, oh, yes, oh, yes. And I said, no, doctor. I said, OK. You said, give him time. OK, doctor. And my son said, OK, doctor. And we came out with the three tablets. And believe me, all I gave him was what? No, DPH. DPH. And my grandson, my, his father was able to leave him alone with me yesterday, right up until certain time, 11 o'clock or so many night. Both of us, and you should hear us. Okay, yes, grandma, whatever. And I did not give him the time. No, you tell me. So this morning, I'm going to ask you to pray for the doctors and the health workers especially at Cornwall Regional Hospital. God, they need God's intervention. And Marva is asking us to pray for unsaved souls. And Sister Vinnett Hilton is asking for prayer for families. So I am asking you, please 
pray mm -hmm. for those doctors. Pray for them. Some of them, they just Google you something and they give you a request. I can tell you because I am a living witness of God's amazing grace. I have been afflicted from 2019 and believe me, from 2000, early 22, I've not taken a tablet except when my pressure is up. And, they, and I was afflicted, they said, with, with attachment to liver that could not do surgery, um, circular spondylosis, and praise God, I am still standing today. God has never allowed me to go into a hospital bed, praise God, because praise of the Lord. prayer of the Hallelujah. saints. This Amen. morning, I want to tell you that prayer works. Prayer Amen. works. All Amen. we have to do, believe God, God. God. take him at his word. When Amen. people pray for us, we are to believe God because Amen. God is in this, the, the, the saving business. God yes. is in the healing business. So when, we, when we pray, we must believe God for the answer. Hallelujah. Let our faith. Hallelujah. Because faith without work. Yes. Forgive me yes. this morning Lord, for God. my emotion. But I know what God has done for me. So I am asking you, all our prayer warriors, our pastors, as Sister Maxine prayed this morning, lift her up also in prayer and pray for those persons that are listed this morning. Sister Maxine, over to you. Praise God, praise God, praise God. Hallelujah. What a mighty God we serve. Oh, yeah. Jehovah God, mm -hmm. El Shaddai, the lily of the valley, the bright and morning star. Mighty God, we honor you this morning. We are privileged, oh God, to be on this platform, mighty God. So we just want to worship you. We just want to exalt you in name. Because God, you're worthy. You're worthy. You're worthy. There's none like you, mighty God, that's Jesus. worthy of our praise. So this morning, we are nothing, Lord God, but a lump of clay before you. Hallelujah. Mighty God, we pray, God, that you mold us into that pot as that pot of mold the vessel is what you want us to be. Mighty God, we thank you for your privilege. We thank you for your mercy. We thank you for your love. Eternal God and our Father, mm -hmm. we come before you. And Father God, we just want to start out with a praise to you this morning. We want to thank you, God, for Sister Crook's grandson, God, who has, oh God, received anointing from you. Mighty yes. God, we, oh God, we pray and God, you deliver. We pray, mighty God, and you answer our prayer. So this morning, God, we just want to thank you for answering our prayer. We want to thank you because, God, we believe when we talk with you, God, that you will answer. And mighty God, you did answer. And so this morning, we just want to say thank you for being by her side. Thank you, God, for holding up Sister Crooks and her family. Thank you, God, for being privileged that we can call upon your holy name. Mighty God, we lift her up into your hand. And we ask, oh God, that you continue to surround them with your love and with your blessing. Mm -hmm. Father God, we know he, he's not out of the, the hard part yet. But God, we're still glorifying you and we're still praising you that you will just be there for the very end. Yeah. Mighty God, we lift up, oh God, the medical practitioner into your hand. We lift up the healthcare worker, God, that they will trust in you. Help them not to believe on what they have studied in book alone, but, oh God, to rely, rely upon you, mighty God, because you are the author and finisher for all our faith. You are the one, oh God, will teach them how to what is right and what is wrong. Mighty God, we lift them up into your hand and help them, Lord God, to feast upon your word. And Father God, we just want to thank you again for them. Mighty God, we lift up, oh God, Sister oh, Benedict Hilton into your hand, mighty God. We lift up her family, Lord God. Father, we ask, oh God, that you'll touch her husband, her children. Mighty God, you are a God, our everlasting Father. You are a creator. You are our friend. And so this morning, on behalf of her, mighty God, we lift up the family into your hand. Those that are backslidden, mighty God, we pray, oh God, that you'll draw them back to you. Heavenly Father, when we look at all your children, oh God, we see how they grow up in churches, God. And Father God, when they reach a stage, they have wandered away from you. God, it burns our heart and parents to see them. But mighty God, we cannot give up on them. Father God, we lift them up into your hand this morning. And we pray, mighty God, that you'll just draw them back to you. Spirit of the living God, you are God of yesterday, today, and forever. And God, only you we can call upon to live, deliver. 
And so, mighty God, we lift up the Hilton family into your hand. And we pray, mighty God, that you will see them through. Father God, we lift up all the pride, the Pray for those unsaved before you. As Sister Marvel, God, asking for pray for the unsold save. Unsold soul, save soul, Lord God. Father God, you are God. You are God. And Father God, you say you doesn't desire, require the, the soul of a sinner. But mighty God, those are unsold save. We mm -hmm. look to you, Jesus. Those unsaved soul, God, we look. <laughs> Mighty God will come to you, will acknowledge you. Father God, there's so many times we we'll witness to them, Lord God. There's so many times pastor preach, oh God. And Father God, it seems as if they are just broken ticks and put in their ears. Father God, they find another way, oh God, to go about doing all that they want to do. But mighty God, you are a God that saves. And so, mighty God, we lift up all the unsaved soul into your hand this morning. Father, we pray for deliverance. We pray for guidance. We pray for your protection. Spirit of the living God, you reign. You reign. You reign. And so, God, we lift up all the unsaved soul into your hand this morning. And we pray, oh God, that they will come to seek you. Father God, you say, you young men, I call upon you because you're strong. Father God. We lift up the young people them into your hand this morning. Mighty God, you are God. You are God and you need to be saved. Oh God, you need to save soul, God. You have been saving souls, mighty God. Hallelujah. And so this morning, God, we come before you. Abba Father, saturate us with your anointing and grace. Father God, help us as children of God to humble ourselves before you. Mighty God, we stand upon that solid rock which is you. And so this morning, and we stand on behalf of the unsaved soul this morning, that mighty God, you'll render them, oh God, before you as a saved soul, as they will serve you, as they will work for you, mighty God, because Father God, Father God, you said, your vineyard is ripened, but the laborers are few. Yes, yes. So this morning, God, we ask you, God, that you would just tabernacle with us and help us not to give up on them as you have mm -hmm. never given up on us. So this morning, God, we just want to give you all glory, all honor, and praise. This morning, I lift up our sister, Woolery, bless of Woolery into your hand this morning, who is in the hospital right now, God, with short of breath. Mighty God, we ask, oh God, that you will just be a, build a shield around her. We yes, pray, yes. mighty God, that you will just cover her under your blood. Spirit of the living God, we thank you for your anointing. We thank you for your blessings. Mighty God, you say when we call upon you, oh God, you are there for us. And so this morning, as we stand in the gap for her this morning, we ask, oh God, that you surround her bedside this morning. And we pray you breathe a fresh breath upon her, Lord God. And we pray, oh God, that she continue to worship you and to lift up your holy name. Father God, you are God. And you are a healer. You are a healer. You are a preserver. And so this morning, we pray for your anointing upon each and every one of us this morning. Father, we cannot do it without you. We cannot work without you. We cannot walk without you. So this morning, God, we ask that you pour your anointing upon us, Lord. Father God, we lift up all the pastors, all the ministers into your hand this morning. We lift up Reverend Pastor King into your hand, dear God. Father God, we ask that you will just touch him right now. You'll cover him, God, with a cough, God, right now that he's having. I pray, mighty God, that you will just pour out your anointing upon him. Pour out your blessing upon him as he continues to walk and to lead your people. Father God, that is a man of God. And so this morning, God, we just want to honor you. We just want to praise you. We just want to lift you. We lift up, oh God. Sister Jennifer Miller into your hand as, his, as she brings forth the word this morning. God, you have anointed her to deliver and she delivers. So mighty God, we ask that you continue to bless her. Bless her household, mighty God. Continue to lead her as she continue to walk in your beauty of holiness. Mighty God, you are God. You are a deliverer. You are our savior. You are our friend. You are our all in all you are our source so this morning god we just want to thank you we thank just want to praise you we lift up our apostle simith into your hand this morning oh, as a man of god as he continues to deliver your word god as he continues to invite others to you mighty god as he continues to give the word father god we ask that you'll cover him 
we pray your anointing upon him and his family. Continue to be a shield around them. Continue to protect them, mighty God. Because we know the enemy is rampant, God. And when he can de deceive or de um, obstruct your man of God that they cannot bring forth the word, then God, you know, your people will perish for lack of knowledge. So we ask that you continue to build a fence around them and continue to strengthen them. We lift up Dr. and Reverend Mark Mullins into your hand, mighty God. Yes. Spirit of God, you are our king. You are our savior. You are our deliverer. And yes. mighty God, these are your servants that you have set over us, God, to deliver your word. Father God, we ask that you will just anoint them from the crown of their head to the very sole of their feet. Spirit of God, we lift up their entire family into your hand and we pray for a double portion of your blessing upon them. Help them not, not to lack of anything, God. Father God, build a fence around them. Be a provision for them, God. Anoint them. Savior divine, you are God. We lift up, oh God, Pastor Philippa into your hand. A woman of yes, God, Lord. you have anointed her, Father God, to bring forth your word, to deliver. And so, God, we lift her up into your hand and her family. Cover her, mighty God. Spirit of the living God, you are God. And we always will be God. We lift our Reverend Barbara Misado into your hand. Spirit of God, you're a special anointed woman. Father, who has been there, who has been teaching, teaching your word. Oh, mighty God, there are so many she has taught God because you had anointed her to do that. And so this morning, God, cover her. Cover her with your blessing. Cover her with your anointing. I lift her entire family into your hand, mighty God. And I pray, God, for a double portion of her blessing upon her. Father God, we thank you. We praise you and we exalt you. We lift up all the lay ministers, all the saints of God on this platform into your hand, mighty God. We lift up Reverend Bernard Scarlett into your hand, spirit of God, the leader who have taught so many of us. And so, mighty God, we ask that your Holy Spirit will minister unto him this morning. And we pray, O oh God, that you will cover him from the crown of his head to the very sole of his feet. Anoint him continually, Lord God, as we continue to do your mission. Go on your mission field to do your work. Spirit of the living God, help us, Lord, to be our brother's keeper. Help us, O oh God, when one is in pain, we feel the pain. Help us to pray up each other, mighty God, because, God, we need each other. We are yes. not an island. We need each other, God. Where we lift up each and every one on this platform into your hand. And mighty God, we pray that a double portion of your anointing be upon us this morning. And we ask, oh God, that you will just cover us. And Father, those requests that wasn't made known this morning, we lift them up into your hand. You know each and every individual. You know our problems. You know our needs. So mighty God, sometimes we so feel ashamed to, to send out our requests to others to know. But mighty God, Help us to know that you are the God who sees and knows everything. You never sleeps. You know every one of us, God. You know all our needs. So this morning, we present ourselves before you, Lord God. And we ask that you will anoint us from the crown of our head to the very soul of our feet. We ask that you're blessed today, Lord God, that you'll be a prosperous and a productive day. We ask, oh God, that we will tell someone about you this morning. We will mm. witness to someone this morning mm. and en encourage someone this morning to be a child of God, to walk in your beauty of holiness, to walk in your service, Lord God. Father, have your known sweet way. We give you all glory, all honor, and all praise. And we pray for a special night and again upon each and every one on this platform. In Jesus' holy name, I pray. And let your will be done in Jesus' holy name. Thank you for answering. Amen. 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 Come on, church Amen. of God. Amen. 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 the Lord. Amen. And just Amen. before Amen. I exit, I would love to express thanks um, not only for my grandson, for those who have prayed, but my church brother, Brother Fraser, whose son was in the same position. He was admitted to the hospital. Now he's out. And the father is expressing thanks to all those who Thank have you. prayed for him. So um, I want to thank you all for your prayers for both of us. Do not stop there. Continue to pray because I believe in my heart that my grandson will not live the rest of his life like that. I know that God has a special work for him and that God is going to completely yes. heal him oh, yes. in oh, the yes. name of Jesus. Oh, yes. I'm Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. To, to lift Hallelujah. Up Hallelujah. I want thank to you. thank Dr. Mark, uh, Martin Mullins 
Deola Stone, Sister Jennifer Miller, Sister Maxine, and Geraldine as she come in a little while for your participation this morning. And I want to thank all the saints of God on this platform who have prayed me up while I was navigating. Thank you, Reverend Mark Mullins for that song, Cover Me, Peace of God, Cover Me. It has been a blessing to my heart. And so at this time, without further ado, I'm going to invite the man of God, Reverend Mark Mullins, to come give us what the appointment is for tomorrow, and then ask Sister Geraldine Jones to close us off in prayer. God bless you. Thank you again and again. Is there a hallelujah praise in the house praise this morning? Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Wow. Hallelujah. 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 Praise oh, him, praise him, praise him. You're excellent in all the earth. Yes, yes, yes. Praise your name. You're excellent. You're excellent, mighty God. Hallelujah. You have an excellent God. Hallelujah. Just a few more seconds. Just a few more seconds of praise. Come on, let's praise him. Just a few more seconds. Just a few more seconds. Hallelujah. Glory to your name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. There's a song that says there's a song that says, let praises rise from the inside. Hallelujah, hallelujah. We, we who have experienced the goodness of God, we have no choice but to praise him and to glorify him. What a mighty God we serve. Angels fall before him. Heaven and earth adore him. What a mighty God we serve. We are seeing the working of the Holy Spirit on this platform. Hallelujah. 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 We are thankful for the praise reports. We are thankful for all the information that comes across here. We know that that we can give God praise for the way he works. He's indeed a good God. God is good all the time and all the time God is good. He's worthy to receive our praise from the rising of the sun until the setting of the face. Our God's name is worthy to be praised. What a word this morning. What a word to our hearts this morning. What a thank all those who participated in the program this morning. Sister Crooks, thank you so much for leading us through in such a wonderful way. That song that was played earlier was requested by Sister Crooks, and it's a beautiful song, beautiful song. Uh, Reverend Mullings, as he, he, he led us in prayer, and uh, we are thankful to Sister Stone for reading the portion of God's word to us and Sister Jennifer Miller, you were used by the Spirit of God. You're on fire. Lord. You're on fire, fire, fire. fire Lord, morning. my God. On fire for Jesus, Lord. man. Jesus. I just want to encourage Thank you. you encourage you. Yes. And you also want to acknowledge Sister Maxine Cummings. Thank you so much for that intercessory yes. prayer. Well. 
Yes, as you were led and moved by the Spirit, uh, we all felt the fire of God, the Holy Spirit working wow. through us. Praise the Lord. We just want to keep ourselves abreast, and uh, we thank you, Sister Jones, in advance for the closing prayer that will be offered. I know that uh, we are looking forward to seeing what is the lineup for tomorrow. <laughs> and so we're asking, well, tomorrow, remember, tomorrow is our communion Sunday. Tomorrow is communion Sunday. So we have our emblems in place and ready for communion. We'll be led ably by Bishop Bernard Scarlett, who will moderate for us tomorrow. We're asking evangelist, evangelist oh. Dana. Denise and I Ogilvy to go ahead and to do the opening prayer tomorrow. Then Sister Rochelle, Rochelle Kildare, we're asking Sister Rochelle to read the portion of scripture for us tomorrow, which is chapter 10, verse 28 to verse 34. And then we know the man of God, Pastor Paul King, will be ministering the word, that portion of scripture to us Life. tomorrow. And then amen, amen. Sister Rosie B, we're going to ask Sister Rosie B to do the intercessory prayer. And then we're going to ask Evangelist Sheila Pettiford to close off in prayer tomorrow. We know that tomorrow is going to be another wonderful day as we wake up for the word to be filled with spiritual food for life's journey. And as we always say, the journey continues in life. And what a journey it has been these past uh, 30, 32 days. So we're in day 32. We completed the month of June and we are now in a brand new month and we look forward to what the Lord will be accomplishing on the platform throughout the course of this month. And so looking forward to the, the, the navigators for the days to come. And I am I'm introducing Testimony Tuesday on uh, Testimony Tuesday. We want at least one or two testimonies about the goodness of God. On mm -hmm. Tuesday, you can prepare to come with your testimony. We will be able to take one or two based on our timing. We can take one or two testimonies. And, uh, you know, I'm certain, I'm certain, absolutely certain that God has been working miraculously in our lives on this platform and in mm -hmm. your lives as individuals. And of course, this is a great opportunity to share what God has been doing in your life. And so we want to have at least one or two testimonies on Tuesday, and we call it Testimony Tuesday. And then that's Tuesday, July 5. And then on Thursday, I uh, want, to, want to dub it Thankful Thursday. We want to hear the praise reports. Eh? We want to hear what, what has been happening in your life. And, and even as we started out uh, from the 1st of June and we've been praying about things, we want to hear what God has done and you are giving him that praise report. Uh, you know my story already, those who know me. I have a great praise report coming out of my daughter's situation. And again, want to use the opportunity to say thanks to those on this platform who have prayed. This was now three years ago and she's still here giving God thanks and praise. That's because amen. God is a good God in and through every amen. situation. Amen. 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 So the, the only addition to this listing is what is on uh, Sunday, July 10. We are asking evangelist Beverly Reed to moderate, to navigate for us. And the portion of scripture as indicated, chapter 13, verses 17 to 20, 22. We continue to keep you abreast as well as to the... Yes, go ahead. Can you please pause the order of service for me tomorrow, please? Yes, I'm going to get back there. I'm going to get back there. Uh, we okay. want to keep the, the... Just posted the link a while ago for the... For the ceremony that was held yesterday. And if you have any challenges, as usual, my number is in the chat. You can always, always give me a call if you have any difficulties at all. Right. So, evangelist... Um, I just heard someone say Pettiford. Yes, we're asking Evangelist Sheila Pettiford to close in prayer for us tomorrow. But this is the order for tomorrow. And we look forward to tomorrow morning, Sunday, July 3, when we wake up for the word to be filled with spiritual food for life's journey. And as we always say, the journey continues in life. Amen and amen. God bless you as you go. May the Lord be with you. May he make his face to shine upon you. 
May he lift up the light of his countenance upon you and give you increasing peace, both now and forevermore. Amen. I'll now turn over back to the moderator. Thank you so very much, Reverend Mullins. At this time, I'm going to ask our sister, Sister Jones, to close us off in prayer. Thank you, thank you. I want to say um, it's a blessing and a privilege, man and woman of God on this platform, to give me the opportunity to end off um, this wonderful fellowship this morning. I thank God, you know, for his love and his mercy, his grace. Thanks for the word that he provided this morning, a very refreshing word, you know, that he broke the yoke off our necks. He's a loving and merciful God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus, for what you're going to do. You already gave us the opportunity, the blessing to wake us up this morning. Lord, I just ask that you would send your angel before us, Lord. Continue to open the doors that need to be opened this morning. Continue to close the door that need to be closed, Lord. I just ask I plead uh, the blood of protection over us wherever we go, Lord God. Continue for healing. Continue for the report. Thank you for your grace, your mercy, Lord God, for sending your son, Jesus, to die on the cross for us sinners, Lord God, that you love us. You said you know us before the foundation of the world, Lord God, before you created anything, we were in your thoughts. You saw us, you know our end, Lord God, continue to strengthen us, continue to bless us, Lord God, continue that we would be a blessing, that we would touch someone today as we go out, that we would proclaim that Jesus Christ is Lord. And what I fail to ask, Father God, Grant in your precious name, Jesus. Amen and amen. 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 Right. Please greet everyone on this platform. Yes, Just Lord. extend Lord. greeting and blessing and God be with you as you go. Let's continue to lift up each other in prayer. And as we prepare ourselves tomorrow for tomorrow's service, and I want to encourage each one of us those who can read very well, those who can who can moderate very well. Um, I'm reminded of the day before when Pastor Paul King had to fit in. So let us all be prepared. We do not know when God is going to use us as that rum caught from the ticket. God bless you. I love you all. And I pray that God's abundant blessings will be upon you all today and always in Jesus' name. Jesus. Have a blessed day. Good morning. 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 morning. Grace and peace be unto you, man of God. Hallelujah. Thank you, sir. Grace and peace to everyone. Apollina, the Lord be your strength and your guide. Sister Masada, the Lord coming to guide you. Sister Hey. Thank you. Thank you, Rev. Thank you, Rev. Blessings to all our pastors. Pastor Felipe. Morning. Morning, Sister Pearl. You did excellent this morning. God good morning, you. Good morning, Sister Pearl. Morning, morning. Apostle Sumit, good morning. Grace and Thank peace. Thank you. Peace you. Special good morning to you, Apostle. Grace and peace, woman of God. Good morning, Lord. Strengthening, Sister. Because the Lord be here. my church family, good morning. Good Have a good morning. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Lord, Lord, guide you and strengthen you. You have a wonderful day today. Morning, good morning. <laughs> the battle may be hard. And the conflict